to SOS. I say welcome to SOS. Hey, I say welcome to SOS. I say welcome to SOS. Hey y'all, I'm Janae. I'm back with another video. So welcome all y'all that are returning and the ones that are here for the very first time. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Janae. I'm the creative and brand ambassador for Sudden Overflow. And what our motto is, we embrace, relate, and inspire all to live their lives for Christ. So thank y'all for coming along with me on this journey. So y'all can see me as we're in a park. Honestly, I see this as us doing life together in real time. So it's almost like we're coming together. Um, me and my family, we come together for a lot of different things. So it's almost like we're all coming together as a family, no matter where we are in life over the globe, city, country, foreign, you know, whatever. We all coming together and doing life together. So we're on day 13. Let's see. Before I get into y'all, get into that. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? Drop in the comments how y'all feeling. If y'all feeling good, give me a thumbs up. If y'all feeling like, meh. Give me your, um, y'all know the emoji that be like this? Give me the, give me the monkey that's like this. Put that in the comments below. Um, let's see, we on day, I said, let's see. We on day 13. Yes, so we on day 13. Okay, title is protection. Know that whatever situation we may find ourselves in, the Lord will protect us. We may be in court, trying to raise children, applying for a job, training for the Olympics, or creating a strategy plan for a trauma one hospital. Please hear me and believe when I say, you shall be protected. Y'all, think of that word protection. I know, um, formerly I was a kindergarten teacher and I had, I believe, either 28, no, I had, yeah, I had 28 students, y'all, 28 five-year-olds, and I loved every bit of it. I always told my co-teacher, um, I always would tell them, y'all, we have controlled chaos in here. Imagine 28 five-year-olds. But y'all, when I tell y'all, we had so much fun. And I always, even though I didn't have children, I saw all 28 of those as my children. So when we would go on field trips, for me, it was bittersweet. I'm going to tell y'all why. Because when we would go on field trips, it's exciting for the kids and it's, it's exciting for me. But I have to all, I'm thinking about, I got to come back with all 28 children. I have to make sure each child is accounted for. I have to make sure the parents that come on a field trip, they're alert. They're not, you know, looking around and just only wanting to see their child. So for me, when I think of protection, I'm telling you all that because when I think of protection, I think of almost like a mama um, or if you're a man, a dad protecting their child. In me, I'm just like, I know like when I come together, if we go on a field trip and I rally all the children together, I'm like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, wait, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'm making sure I have all twenty-eight of those children. And honestly, y'all, when we think of God, know that God, He's gonna protect you. God have the Lord have angels for protection for us. So that's for day thirteen. And let me go to our Bible verse. Our Bible verse is Psalms 97, 11. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And we can just rest in that. We can rest in no matter where we are in life. God will have his angels to protect us. I had a, um, one of my friends had... Um, this story may come off as heavy, but it's light. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all that before. So one of my friends got in an accident. And long story short, um, she was like, she called on Jesus. And she was like, the minute she called on Jesus, it was like her whole, her cold, it's crazy. Her cold was flipping and it literally stopped. And 
You know how we hear, not to say cliche, but sometimes it feels cliche. Um, people say at the mention of G, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. That was like a real life example for my friend and me. I believe her. She was just like the call was flipping, and when she said Jesus, boom, it stopped. And she was like, "Of course, you like freaking out." But that was like, "Wow!" So I give that to us all. If we feeling like, "Lord, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do," call on Jesus. Ask for protection. Um, I always say, from things seen and unseen, because sometimes you can ask for, for protection if you know somebody is not for you but what about the people that you don't know that's not for you so I'm like God protect me from things seen and unseen protect me from things that I want but that's not good for me you know so um and sometimes when God does protect us we gotta like be like this <laughs> no for real y'all we really have to like zip it up because Sometimes when we say protection, it's almost like a child. It's almost like this, a child wanting a car, but the parent like, you ain't even responsible for a car. So the answer is, meow. So that's what God does to us all the time. We may ask for something and God's like, mm, my child, you need to grow in this area. We may ask for a $500,000 job. God, God may say, mm, my child, you need to work on that um that patience. Oh, I see a little frustration in you. Let's work that out. Oh, you want that husband? Oh, baby, you gotta work on selfish. You straight up, you straight up think about it. it's all about you, my girl. So like, it's okay to like dial back and do some self reflection on us to see you know what's going on. So y'all. Y'all have a phenomenal day just because y'all can and y'all take it easy. But before we go, let me give y'all my virtual hug. I hope y'all feel it.